2020 officially marks the deadliest year in Grand Rapids. Another deadly shooting in the city happened last night. Community leaders are now pleading with neighbors to do their part in the fight to curb the violence. News 8's Whitney Burney joins us now live from where the latest shooting happened with their message tonight. Whitney. Sue, the latest victim, a 23-year-old, crashed right here into the side of this building. You can still see damage here tonight. There's also glass on the sidewalk. All of this happening before police even realized that victim had a gunshot wound to the chest. Police haven't identified that victim tonight, but community activists are hoping that his death is a catalyst for change. The year was 1993. Gang violence at an all-time high here in Grand Rapids. You're born right here. The city setting a record 34 homicides for the year. Fast forward to 2020. The previous record now broken as yet another victim is shot and killed Sunday night. Police say around 9 o'clock they attempted to stop a car that was driving erratically near Division in Burton. The driver then crashed into this building. When police got to him, they say the 23-year-old was suffering from a gunshot wound to the chest. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Police believe that shooting happened a few blocks away from the crash. There's no good reason behind the killing, but the killing all over the city to me. Elijah Libet says many years ago he was caught up in a violent lifestyle himself. Today he works to curb that same violence with the anti-gun group Mothers on a Mission. The group protests the violence with photos of victims. When we started Moms on a Mission, I think it was, you know, this is one club that we don't want no new members. And we started off with about six, now we're up to 50-something, not including what's done happened this year. GRPD says the pandemic could be a contributing factor to the violence we've seen this year. In August, they rolled out a new strategic plan to slow the violence, which included beat officers in neighborhoods and gun buyback programs. Community leaders say the key to change will be relationships with those perpetuating the violence. Why is these little kids suffering? You know, why is these mothers suffering? Why is these fathers suffering? You know, why is everybody suffering because of the way y'all want to live your life? It's wrong and y'all need to stop it. Now, we did reach out to GRPD's chief, Eric Payne, for a comment on this once again being the deadliest year on record here in the city of Grand Rapids. Unfortunately, he was unavailable. Police tell us that we can expect some remarks from the chief next week, Tuesday, during a public safety committee meeting that will be virtual. Meantime, if you have any information on what may have happened here near Burton and Division, you're asked to call police or silent observer. Live here in Grand Rapids, Whitney Burney, News 8.